Hi, I'm Valerie. About five or six years ago, God put on my heart to buy a shower truck for the homeless. I fought it for a long time. I fought doing what God had called me to do. He kept pressing it on my heart, and he just broke my heart for the homeless. It was this, it was this guy I met, and he had one eye, and he was on the street. He used to wear a patch. He used to come into the store, and he'd be drunk. God told me I needed to, you know, take him under my wing. So we became friends, and he's still my friend to this day. And it's probably been eight or nine years. That's probably the start. That's where, you know, God started on my heart about homeless people. He changed my heart. Well, through the years, Jason, when we did the fast, Jason would always ask, what is God calling you to do? And every time it kept coming back to buy a shower truck. And I was like, no, God, no, I don't have, you know, where am I gonna get that money? It's gonna cost a lot of money for a shower truck. Where am I gonna get it, God? And so I just kept going about my business and finally he pressed down on me. And so I started a commercial cleaning business and worked my job here and then worked at night and on the weekends. He reminded me, I was sitting in my office, he reminded me that I would listen to a sermon about from Jason about probably eight or 10 years ago. And he was saying that somebody gave half, half of their income. I was like, wow, God, to give half, to tithe half of your income, that's a lot of money. That would be awesome to be able to do that. He reminded me eight months ago when I was sitting there, he said, I did it for you, Valerie. I gave you a heart's desire. Half of what I made, I paid to people and bought supplies. The other half, I gave to the Lord for the shower truck. So, you know, all this is just about being obedient, stepping over that line, because I'm just like everybody else. I'm just a regular person. But God is so big, he can do anything if we step over that line and trust him.